Looks very nice. A little bit more bend to the left, but your speed is good for the flat walk. Yeah, bend him a little bit more to the left. So anytime he cuts in, try not to pull him out there. Push with your left leg and think of shifting your weight to the outside. Because if we pull, then he's slowing down on us. Yep. Good, your speed's good. Yep, he likes to browse out that gate. Good. And then a little bit more bend. Your speed's good. His legs are nice and separated. Yep. Oh, now he got too slow. <laughs> good job. He's, he's unaffected by the stick. That's good. Yep. He's just got to know you mean business. Yep. So just keep that speed. Start to bend him a little to the left so he can't look out the gate. Yep. That's good. Good. Do you have, keep going, but do you have sheepskin on your saddle? No. Okay. If you, do, if you get some, it'll help. It'll help so you don't move around as much in the saddle as he's gating. All right. Yep. Because you, your seat, you know, you're a small person. The saddle, the size of the seat is a little bit big. And he's got a big stride, so it moves you a fair amount. And this is a 17-inch tree. Oh, that's probably the size of the saddle. Yeah, and you're probably more a 15 or a 16. So the, um, the fleas will actually help you not move around as much. Yep. Now, if we've been chit-chatting, you know who slowed down. There you go. Yep. And it'll also help because then your leg might not move as much because the leg kind of wiggles around. Does, do your knees hurt or anything? Just my neck a little. Okay. If I shorten your stirrups, would that hurt your knees or your ankles? I don't think so. Okay. So, yeah, let's stop for a you. It's his motion, but the stirrup looks better. So now... Keep that same speed, bring his head just a little bit lower. So a light pressure on the rein to kind of bring his head down. That's better, yep. And then think of tilting your pelvis just a little bit more forward so you're kind of in your thigh more, yep. And now if you can keep that and then go a tiny bit faster. That's better, yep. Now a little inside bend, cause his head, at least in this direction, he likes to keep putting it to the right. So you want to keep trying to correct him, but you might have to push more with this leg, your left leg. Good. Yep. So everything looks good, except it looks like you're leaning to the left. Okay. Yep. So you can lean forward, but you don't want to lean off to the side. Yep. That's good. Oh, he slowed down. He's browsing out that gate. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Left yes. Yep. So a little bit more bend. So we want him to bend, but you stay in the center of the saddle. A little bit more bend. So a little bit more left rein and left leg. There you go. That's good. Yep. And then kind of look up over his head just so you straighten out. Good. And then once he stops sneezing, then we'll concentrate on keeping the same speed. Yeah. When you watch the video, the camera is going to change colors because every time it catches the light, it tries to refocus just so you know what it's doing. Now he slowed down while I was talking. A little bit more bend, so more left rein. There you go. And then make sure your body, your upper body staying in the center of the saddle. You can stay leaning forward, just don't lean to the left. Good. Yep. Yeah. Wave that stick. That's a good speed. Keep it up. He already slowed down. There you go. Now I'll bring his head down just a tiny bit, but keeping the same speed. It's hard because when you go to bring his head down, he slows down. So again, you can drive with your seat. You can squeeze with your legs. Or again, you can wave that stick. That's better for his running walk. Keep going. Good boy. He slowed down on us. Speed back up. He's still too slow. So go faster. More. <laughs> He's got your number. He's like, I'm not doing it. Yep. So give him a little tap with the stick. It's okay if he paces, just make him go forward for a minute. So cluck and then tap him. So he associates that cluck with getting hit. 
Keep going. Give him another tap. That's it. Keep going. So right now, don't worry about his head. Just keep that same speed, even if it's bouncy. Because first we got to get the speed because he keeps slowing down too much. That's keep going. You're good. Yeah. So his legs are still separated. They're just not as much. That's why you might feel a little bump, but that's okay. Keep going. And then when we get past the gate, we're going to try and keep the speed, but tuck his nose in a little bit. So keep going. Okay. Now try to keep going and bring his nose in a little bit. More. More. There you go. Bring his nose. Bring his nose in more, it went back up. Yep, and if it's not coming in or it's too hard, then shorten your reins a little bit more so you can put more pressure on him. Yep, that's okay, get him back up to speed when you're ready. Use that stick so he doesn't ignore you more. Keep tapping, go faster. That's better, yep, and then bring his nose in. Yep, and you might, if he slows down, once you get his nose in, you might have to tap then. Keep pulling, don't give up, because there he's pacing. Bring his nose in more. Yep, now a little bend. You're doing good. Keep going, it's okay if you go over the poles by accident, it doesn't matter. Keep going, he's, he's slowed all the way back down. Yep, just make your circle bigger, that way if he cuts in, you won't be aiming towards those poles. So right now he's got a flat walk, so speed back up and make that circle bigger. Make him go out so you don't end up going over those poles. Yep, keep going, keep tapping. Then bring his head down, then stay in your thigh a little bit more, but keep going. Bring his nose down more. Yep, and think not of pulling your hand down, just put pressure on it, but your hand can go towards your hip. Wave your stick. Yep, then bring his head down, push him out a little bit and get the bend. Good. Okay, bend him. Good, now stop, give him a break. So you know where you're going, start turning towards him, slow down, give a little half halt, shift your weight to the left, now ask him to canter. So wrong lead, yep. And as you go over the poles, I want you to aim at letter K next time, because it'll keep the turn. So he did canter, but wrong lead. Can you switch your stick into your left hand? Because it might help. We'll help him to get the canter better. So go slower, you wanna do it from a walk, even though he knows we're going towards it. So give a half halt, look towards letter K, left leg and say canter. Canter, canter. R still wrong lead, so don't stop. So this time keep walking, so come back to a walk and try it again, yeah. As you make the turn, just keep that outside rein, your left rein and your stick against his neck. Come in slower, cause he's still gating, so slow. Slow, half haul, shift your weight, left leg, look at letter K. Pull on your right rein. Answer. Right rein. Nope, so still wrong lead. So walk and just keep going and try to get, okay? So look towards the pole. Shift your weight to the left. Look at letter K. Ask him to canter, left leg and a little stick, just a little. Answer. Good job, yep. And then stop and a big fuss. Lots of scratches. Yeah, walk. So remember, come in slow. Oh, maybe make a circle. It looks like, is he gonna go to the bathroom? I don't know. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll okay, out. look at letter K, little stick, Answer. right rein. Right <laughs> yes, so bad steering, <laughs> but he cantered it, which was nice. Yep, so you'll get him lined up, go slower. So that's it, come in that speed. And remember, look at letter V this time. Ask him to canter. canter. Open your right rein. Canter. Yay, that was good. And stop in a big Towards stretch. the pole, we'll give the little half halt. You shift your weight to the outside or to the right. And then your right leg once we get close to the pole. So get ready, so half halt. Oh, we missed the turn. So I would make a circle because you kind of went down the rail. He didn't even know he was going to the poles. Okay. Yes. That so that's okay. We just got to stay. Here. So don't turn yet. Get him paying attention. He looks like he's sleeping. That's it. So start heading towards the poles. Shift your weight to the outside. Now your right leg say canter. Canter. Yeah, I think he was sleeping. So 
<laughs> we'll try it again. <laughs> he woke up, but the whole approach, it looked like he wasn't paying attention. So shorten your rein a little bit. Yeah, get him focused, slow down, and keep his head just bent a little to the left if you can. That's better. Stay that slow. Give your half halt, shift your weight. Now your right leg and look up. Yeah, try it again. So don't stop. So he knows that's not what we wanted and we'll try it again to the right. So if you can, we'll pull a little left once you get in the poles. So half halt, shift your weight. Right leg, cluck, say canter, left rein. Okay, so he's doing it, but it's the wrong lead. So we'll try it again. Nice wide turn. <laughs> yep. So come in slow. Think of his hind quarter a little bit towards me if you can. Good. Give your half halt. Shift your weight to the right. Oops. <laughs> right leg, say canter. Yeah. He's almost too quiet. So trying to get in, in a different position helps you steer better. So come in slower. Look where you're going. Half halt, shift your weight. Right leg, say canter. canter. Look to your left, look towards Susan. Okay, that's okay. So just try it again. Tones again to help her steer. Good. He doesn't look like he's awake. Look up. There you go. That's it. Good. Now stop. Scratch. Make a, a big bit cut. slower as you get closer to the poles. That's it. Good. And keep your eyes up. Go ahead and ask him. Canter. Good. Canter. And he pooped while he was doing it. Oh my God. <laughs> Come in a little bit slower. That's a better speed. Yep. And look where you want to go after the poles. Canter. Good. Good. So he did good. He bunny hopped through the last two. That just means his lead in the back. He kind of planted both legs together. Okay. I'd try it one more time because we want to end on a good of the arena. So come in slow and kind of crooked so his butt's in and then look where you want to go and then ask him. Canter. That's a much better one to end on. Beautiful. Canter. 